Alright guys, my name is Frank and welcome back to GTA Online. Now, I'm just running down to my underground garage right now to get the amphibious vehicles. Yep, sorry that I've not made a video on this sooner because I was kind of focused on Forza for the past couple of days and some other cars in the DLC like the Chiron or the Nero as it's called in the game. But first up, we are going to be taking out the Toy Bota. Now I think it's called the... The Karen Rebel Technica or Technical Aqua. I'm, it's a long name, right? It's a long ass name, but I'm just going to call it the Toy Bota because that is essentially what it is. Rockstar have been watching too much Top Gear and I love them for it. So it'd be great if we can get more Top Gear inspired cars. Now, bear in mind, Jeremy Clarkson's one didn't have a massive freaking machine gun on it, but that would have been even more epic if it did. But yeah. Uh, we're going to have some fun with this today. I don't know if Boosted wants to jump in. And here comes freaking Knight Rider in white. God, that, look, that looks really, really weird in white. I don't know, that's just me. But anyway, this is like a dream come true, man. I've always wanted like a Toy Bota sort of car in the game. It's freaking epic, man. So yeah, it's, it's great that we now have amphibious vehicles in this game because I've... I kind of want like the James Bond Lotus Esprit and I think there's a reason why that didn't actually come in this DLC It's because we now know that amphibious cars are in the game so we were expecting that but <laughs> I think Rockstar's kind of teasing us for future DLC because they're like yes we do have amphibious cars in the game now you know the one that you want the James Bond Lotus Esprit we're gonna make you wait <laughs> I know they will bring it in I know I know they will because if they brought these in, you cannot not bring in the freaking Lotus Esprit. So yeah, anyway, we're going to try and find some water right now. And there is some down there in the freaking dam area. But can we jump this? It's a bit too wide, isn't it? Ooh, Jesus Christ, scraping it a wee bit. Scraping it on the sides there. Oh yeah. But this is awesome, the fact that you can just freaking essentially go anywhere in this thing, well, apart from the sky, but it's, it's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Like, you always used to be afraid of jumping into this little area. Like, if you got a mistake wrong, you were going way too fast and you flew off the side of that bit, you're like, fuck, okay, my car's drowned, but with this, you can just do this now. <laughs> it's fucking awesome, man. This is honestly one of the coolest cars ever to come into GTA Online, and I love it. Only problem is, I wish it was a little bit quicker than what it is, but it'd be great if you could do upgrades to it. I don't know if you can actually in terms of performance, but I presume you can. But I'm okay right now, it's just a little showcase video anyway. But bad thing is we can't go into the first person view, because that would be freaking awesome to see. I am the commander of HMS Toy Bota, and I'm coming to kill your bitch. Dun 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 if you don't know what that thing is based on, um, I've actually mentioned it before, but the little quad bike which we're going to drive in a little minute is actually based on the quad ski in real life, which Jeremy Clarkson drove. I think it was on Lake Nardo or something like that. I think it's Lake Nardo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he was racing the Alfa Romeo 4C, which, was, which Hammond was driving. So, so cool that wee thing. I love it to death. So, who is this down here? Is he on that boat? He's going to get a big surprise when he sees a freaking Toyota Hilux coming after him. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just so excited, man. I'm just so excited because I'm just thinking of possibilities for the future with amphibious cars. Oh, mate. It's Captain Jack Sparrow. I've ditched my sheep for a Toyota. And I am shit at doing Jack Sparrow impressions, apparently. I'm fucking crap at it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's one thing that you might be surprised at, guys. I've never really actually watched a full Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I know, big shocker, right? But I've heard the theme tune, obviously, and the freaking piss-take song which Lonely Island actually made. 
Freaking, what was his name? Michael Baldwin or something that was in the music video. I'll pick this guy up if he wants to come in. I'm offering you a lift, mate. You want in? It saves you fucking women swimming on their way back. I was going to drop you off on the beach. Some people just don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate my helpfulness. God damn you. Because <laughs> I got a comment a few videos ago saying, you're probably the least aggressive GTA player ever. And they actually commented saying, I don't think I've ever seen you shoot anyone in any of your videos. I'm like, well, that's because I just like driving around. <laughs> I mean, I know GTA is all about freaking killing and, I mean, you know, that sort of shit, but you don't need to do it. I know, here's, here's me saying that, and I've got a big massive fucking walloper of a gun on the back. This is Beach Patrol, Top Gear style. <laughs> Imagine that, fucking Baywatch Top Gear style. Bloody hell. Oh, there's the quadski. There's a the guy who got a quadski. Hey! That's it. We're going to be getting that in a wee second. What is he doing? Okay. Okay. Okay, mate. No need to be aggressive. Fucking hell, man. So since it is still a Hilux, it should be pretty good at off-roading. The Rebel isn't the best off-roader in the game, but considering the fact we do have stuff pushing it down into the ground now, it's actually coping not too bad indeed. Because I think the normal one's a little bit underpowered in my opinion. This actually is conquering this hill not too bad. Jesus! Go on Toyota man. It's very good. Because this is slowly becoming one of my favourite vehicles from this DLC guys. It's so freaking cool. I'm trying to find... Oh Jesus Christ! I'm trying to find like a little bit of water out in sandy shores. I'm just taking the mountains for a shortcut. And to test this thing for all-wheel all -wheel drive and off-road purposes. <laughs> no one's ever went off-road with a freaking, freaking, what do you call it, boat motor on the back, have they? Oh shit, that's a big jump! That's a big jump! Oh god. Thank fuck the Rebels actually get quite good suspension to cope with it. Ooh, Jesus. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> this is not exactly where I want to be right now. Fucking hell. I don't think I've ever went down this bit before like this. Ooh! I'm literally on the brakes all the way down here. Pretty awesome. Managed that no bother. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Was that thing shooting guns there? I never knew the quad ski had guns. What the fuck? That makes it ten times cooler. Holy shit. It's like all cutesy and everything looking then it can shoot firepower like that. Oh, I want to be in that thing right now. Or on that thing, I mean, but fuck it. We're just going to take a little detour down this way. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We've got the swamp and everything next to the army base. Oh, God, this is going to be a big jump. Three, two, one. Land it, sunshine. Land it. Yes. That's it. I've just realised I can hear people coming in and out of the office next to me. They must be wondering what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Pure shouting, a quad bike with guns. When the fuck have you ever heard that before in a daily routine? <laughs> My god, it's actually pretty quick here. I remember when I used to do like off-road testing back here saying like, Oh, can a car make it through the water without drowning? Uh, yeah, this thing can now. <laughs> I think I've done it with the Rebel before, I'm not too sure if I made a video on that thing. I might have done, but this is just taking it to a whole new level in terms of cool factor, but let me know in the comment section below guys, have you got the Karen Rebel Technica or Technica, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't even know honestly. Such a stupid name. Stupid. It's stupid. Definitely is, but yeah, it's fucking epic. I really want him to actually climb on the back. The guy that's following us right now and just boom and shoot that gun. Or maybe... Maybe this might work. Oh god. <laughs> this is so weird not seeing the freaking your car has been damaged sign popping up. Oh god. What are you doing? Get on the fucking thing, raccoon, you idiot. Get on the bloody thing. Here we go. Yes, we can. <laughs> oh my god, there he is. Why is it not letting me shoot? Ah, because I'm in passing mode. You freaking idiot. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, yes. Please get in, mate. Please get in and drive this thing. I'm begging you. Yes, he is. He is. Good, 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 good. 
Drive. Drive, please. There's, there's Popo up there. Want to shoot them. Go, mate! Go! Alright. What am I doing? I've got so many things wrong in this episode. There we go. Um, everyone, go drive. Drive! I'm <laughs> trying to take to put people out. There we go. Oh, shit. It work better in the first person view, if there is one. It's not even a first person view in this. What in the actual feck? Okay, I thought there was, but there isn't. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> we're kind of in the rapids right now. Not exactly the perfect place for this thing. Die, bastards, die! What are you doing? Bloody hell! Uh, oh, wait, no. What's happened? I thought it stopped there for a second. I'm like, it's an amphibious car, mate. <laughs> Okay, fucking what the fuck? <laughs> you got out of nowhere, holy shit! And he's tanked it. Al, come on, take us to Sandy Shores. Get down. We got to shoot everything, shoot the bridge. I don't know if there's anything in there though, so that might be a bit pointless. And I'm slowly turning into a Kermit the Frog here. Oh my god, Kermit the Frog here. I am here with my pal Arnold Schwarzenegger. How are you doing, Kermit? Yeah. To answer your question, yes, I've had a lot of caffeine today. So that was the little random drive in the toy boater right there. Definitely a very, very fun car. So we're going to switch to the little James Bond quad ski, which means driving all the way back to the garage. Oh, yippee. So here we are with the little Nagasaki Blazer Aqua. I really, really like this little thing. As I said, it's kind of like the one that Jeremy drove on Top Gear. So, it's not exactly the best of weather right now, just like it is outside here in Scotland, because while I was waiting for it to turn to the next day, I just popped down to the shops to get a drink, and it is literally like this. Rain, rain, go away. Please don't come back another day. I'm begging you. But anyway, it looks, looks like it's starting to brighten up now. But here we go. Here we go, cue the James Bond music if we can go down here without freaking dinging the bike up. We might need to go up this way a wee bit. Uh, can I, can I, can I, can I? Yes we can! So, three, two, one, cue the Bond! Do -do 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 -do. And there we go! <laughs> to make it look even more cooler. Oh my god! Oh, that's a big wave, that's a big wave, holy shit! Well, I've picked the perfect time for jumps, haven't I? Holy moly! This is so cool! <laughs> a raccoon on a mission! I've got a mission from Q and I've got to go and kill some bad guys in Polito Bay. Or should I say, I've got a mission from Q and I've got to go and kill some bad guys in Polito Bay. Oh my god, it's fucking lightning bolt! Holy shit! My name's Sean Conrad. Oh my god! <laughs> We're basically pointing all the way up there. That's fucking badass. Uh, let's see if we can get. No, we can't get a first person view in this either. Uh, oh, we can't. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Um, what? What the? Wait, that's not me changing the camera, guys. That's doing it by itself. What the fuck? Is that a glitch by any chance? That feels like a glitch to me because every time it bobs over a wave, it keeps on changing camera. But we're gonna go out of that because that's a bit weird. Imagine if you were just sitting on this thing and you seen a shark fin. <laughs> but yeah, there is Junior Fudge, I think his name is. So he will be my my convoy on this freaking trip to Polito Bay. And transcend. There we go. <laughs> so awesome how you could do that. Now, it's kind of came out a little bit of a rocky area. See if the little quad can handle it. We can squeeze through here. Yes, we can. Oh my god. Now you can actually keep the wheels down on the water guys if you're just going through a little puddle like that. But if you want to just go back onto it, obviously you can bring them back up again. Way. <laughs> I've also come out of passive mode so we can now do this. Get out of my way criminals. Bond raccoon is coming to get you. I mean what what was what was should what should we call him in terms of a secret agent? James Raccoon? <laughs> raccoon. James Raccoon. Nah. I don't think I don't think that would go. Yeah, so I want to see if I can pull a sweet jump off or something back into the water. Oh, 
God, you smacked the freaking underside of it right there. Oh, I hope that doesn't hurt it. Oh, God! <laughs> Holy fuck, I just get taken out by a rock. Bloody hell, fucking RKO out of nowhere. Right, so it looks like it's starting to get a little bit more rough terrain here. Holy shit, we just get pinged up. Oh, God! <laughs> kind of like freaking hidden rocks underneath the place. We need to watch ourselves. That's a big wave. It's a big freaking wave. Holy moly. This is probably the most... Kind of like the, one of the smallest kind of water vehicles. I know the jet ski's the smallest, but... Look at that. It's very, very dangerous when you go over like the bumps and stuff in this thing. I feel like we're nearly there now. This isn't even anywhere near it. We've still got a wee bit to go. Fuck it, hell. Tell you what, I think we'll call it short because this video's been on long enough. <laughs> we'll just end at the lighthouse up here. But yeah, guys, these two vehicles are very, very, very worth your money. And just, just buy it. That's all I've got to say. Just freaking buy them. Because they're, I, I'm speechless, honestly. They're probably two of the most fun vehicles ever to be brought into this game. So good. So freaking good. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video and you do want to see some more GTA 5 from me and the remaining cars which are coming or I've still to do, then please do let me know by leaving a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. And if you have, then make sure you hit that little bell just to get all the notifications into your subscriptions box. Now here's the finale. There we go. That's what I was looking for in terms of jumps. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.